is a local West Michigan organization that's just trying to help people that are you know, in the fight for their life. We can all relate to knowing someone who's gone through cancer and there's something in us that just wants to take care. Bluebird Cancer Retreats provides uh, great hope for uh, people living with cancer. I know personally um, I lost my father to prostate cancer in uh, 1996. My father passed away with uh, lymphoma and so cancer is so prevalent in the world today. I have a, a connection with cancer. I lost both my parents to cancer and understand the roller coaster of dealing with that disease is. And I just wanted to help. Having had gone through it, having had colon cancer, and knowing what they went through, if they had surgery, I know it's like to be on the table. If they had chemotherapy, I know it's like to sit on that end of the needle. And when they want to talk about how they feel or how they felt, I know what they're talking about. We're a nonprofit organization. We were developed out of a dream of a gentleman that uh, lived in Spring Lake. He had cancer. We have resources for every, every level. You know, we've had have people that come to retreat that are really sick. And with the, the people that just maybe have a, a newer diagnosis and they're, they're kind of just still in that fog where they're not understanding yet. You know, our resource room, we have every, every month we have um, a support group. And then we have the different presentations to help them be educated on how to deal with this. Bluebird is a part of a community and I think it's important to give back to a community and I think I have a unique position that I recognize that there is needs out there and some things that I can't do within my own organization to, to help a cancer patient and I can do that with Bluebird. I, I think that one of the things that oftentimes gets left out with patients is the emotional support, uh, the coping skills kinds of things. I mean there's, there's wonderful treatments available for for the disease, but sometimes we forget about the person. We're focused on, hey, yeah, you've got cancer, so what? Let's teach you how to live with it. Let's te teach you how to have those connections still and, and still have a, as good a life as you can as you fight it. And as I sat in the opening circle and we all shared our, our name and where we were from, um, I just had such a sense of connection with the other people and I had such a sense of hope The most important piece I would say is getting access to care for patients. We have a lot of patients that come through the, through the door and many patients, as soon as you say the word cancer, they don't know where to turn or they don't know what to do, so it is providing that information. The thing that Bluebird does for these cancer participants or people is that it gives them the opportunity to realize that they're not alone because they feel like I am the only one going through this and they come away feeling that, hey, that person's doing it too, and if they can, I can. The retreats really help people to rediscover the joy of life, regardless of what it hands you, regardless of your medical issues that are going on, that there's still things to be joyful about, there's still things to be grateful for, and you know, it's an opportunity for them to cry and laugh and, and just, you know, rediscovered themselves uh, in a way that sometimes chronic illness really sort of forces you down and really makes you very discouraged. There are moments when they need to break down and there are moments when they need to be really real about what's going on in their life. This is a perfect venue for that. They're safe. Everyone there has been through what they're going through. They can be completely honest and they don't have to hide. They don't have to hide behind their diagnosis. It gave me a rest from the challenge of cancer. At the same time, it centered me on that same path and focused me in a new way that I could really begin to move forward. We have a quite a nice relationship with Geneva Retreat Center. We've held all of our retreats there. Um, it's right on the shores of Lake Michigan. You're out of reality for a few moments and just set in one of the most beautiful settings, I think, in the world. But I come home with so, such a different outlook on my own life and how fortunate I am and what I have. Hope is the ultimate gift we want to give from this retreat. And by giving them, you know, open ears, open hearts, they walk away with hope. They walk away feeling like they can deal with what they've got to go through. Um, 
I'm very proud of the, of the job the organization is doing these days. And, and as I said, it's such a wonderful thing for cancer patients to be able to, to have such a gift.